so here's me and Spencer back on rod doing stuff we're gonna go on another adventure and we're gonna go stay in a tent tonight and we're gonna go put the wood stove in the tent and try to stay warm and cook some good food some steaks and we might even do some fishing so we just got some gas and a couple drinks and we're gonna head out This is the five mile pass recreation area we're coming up on. It's a pretty popular place for ATV riding, UTV riding, that type of thing. So if you like to do that kind of stuff, look it up. I don't recommend it however on the weekends like it is today, because you'll get a snapshot when we go past here, just what you can see off the sides of the road many people there are and it's just a big messy dust bowl so weekdays good weekends really busy Okay, so yeah, we got up here. It's really busy, of course, because it's a weekend, so there's people everywhere. So we drove up past the reservoir and we couldn't find a spot, so we drove back this way and came up this side road. Finally found a spot up here. So we're going to get our tent set up and uh, we'll show you that when we get it set up.
inside and see what Spencer's up to. What are you up to, Spence? Uh, throwing out these. You making some beds? Yeah. That's a good boy. So we've got him making the beds. We've got the wood stove put in. Pipe going up. You can see that, how I installed that stove jack and stuff in my other videos. I'll link that down below. We've got our stove jack out here, our pipe. I built this, uh, welded these three carriage bolts together and built a little tripod thing. I had some conduit I bought to bring with me to make the tripod out of, but I left the conduit at home. So luckily, the poles for the awning on the tent and the uh, tripod, I was able to take the rubber plugs off the ends of the poles and make those poles work. I had one extra pole in the bag. So we made that work for the tripod. Then I just have that chain going around, keep it from blowing off. That'll support our chimney pipe. Um, it's not going to get terribly cold tonight. It'll probably get down 32, 30, somewhere around there. So we could do without the wood stove. We haven't had a chance to use it this year. So we decided to uh, bring it out and try it out and probably do some cooking on it inside and, and just try it out and have a good time with it. Well, it was a lot of work. We finally got the tent set up and we got got the beds set up, so yeah, we're done with pack unpacking. Yeah, so we got everything set up, so now we're just going to sit back and relax for a little while, and here in a bit we'll make us up some lunch. Yep. <coughs> Spencer's going to cook us some lunch with our gasifier stove here. We're under this juniper tree. We're just going to pick up some pieces of wood and sticks put in here, get our fire going, and we're going to cook us up some ramen for lunch. The Spencer likes ramen. All right, so you can see we got our stove all loaded up with wood that we just picked up under this tree, and Spencer's going to get it lit up for us. We've got us a cotton ball here. Yeah, get it right there in the middle. There you go. It's gonna go. There you go. But now you want to get a stick. We'll put it in there. And that cotton ball has just a little bit of wax on it. So cotton balls are one of the best fire starters. Easy for kids to learn with. So we're gonna get this going. Get our water boiling. And Spencer's gonna cook us up some gourmet ramen. Some water in here. Can I open it? Yep. What's the first step to cooking ramen, Spencer? Put water in. Water in the pan? All right. It's heavy. It's heavy? And yeah. dump it in there. Here, I'll hold this. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. Now, what are you going to do? Uh, put it on the stove. Okay. Put the pot on the stove. Yeah. That will that's help. Nope. One leg's not folded down all the way. Bend a little. All right. So we're going to get this water boiled up, right, Spencer? Mm-hmm. And then we're going to eat some lunch. Thank 
fence. Uh, putting the packets in the ramen. I mean, the water. Got it boiling, so now we're going to put the ramen in there. One more in there. Okay, so now what do you do? Uh, you know, just wait until it's all mixed up. Let it cook, let it boil for a minute, and then we'll put the spices in and we'll be ready to eat some lunch, right? Yep. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. All right. So what are we doing now, Spence? I clean the sand packs it to the ramen. The seasoning packs, all right. I'll open them for you. And you dump them in there, okay? Oh, I lost a little bit of that one. Uh oh. while you stir it up. Hold on to the handles or it'll tip it off there. Hold on, yeah, like that. Let me hold it for you while you stir it, okay? You wanna get it down in there. Go like this, let me show you. Like what? Ramen. <laughs> Ramen. What flavor? Can you tell? Yeah. Beef. That's what's for dinner. All right, let's get this dished up. We'll eat some ramen. Gourmet meals, huh, Spencer? Yep. Put yours in here, okay? Get there. So you tell me how much you want. That'll be enough. That's good. Mm -hmm. You want? Do you like the? Oh, that has grass on it. Better throw that out. Yeah. All right. You want some of the juice in it or no? No. no. All right. Got grass. You got grass in your food? Yeah. Whoa. Oops. <clears throat> oh, man down, man down. Bones on the ground. Yeah. All right. You gonna have the first taste? Mm -hmm. See if it's any good. Is it good? Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. That's how you cook gourmet ramen when you're camping. All right. Spencer made us an awesome lunch. We're going to sit back and enjoy it. And we'll get back with you in a little bit here. So, Spencer, how was that lunch? Good. Was it the best ramen you've ever had? Yeah. Spencer's getting our firewood ready for us for tonight. Splitting us up some kindling. Alright, you can just twist the 
knife now. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, and then when you get it like that, if you just take the knife and just twist it, then it will come apart. So here's me and Spencer. We're down at Vernon Reservoir. We're gonna do some fishing. See if we have any luck, see if we can catch anything. A billion people here. If you look around, see if maybe in a few minutes we can fly the drone over. And see really how many people are here. Nuts. Don't come here on a weekend. of this fishing so far? Well, we haven't catched anything yet. What do you think the problem is? Uh, because there's a lot of people by us. Yeah, so there's a lot of people here. Away then. Yeah. We've tried about every hook we own. The only upside is, is nobody around us is catching anything either, so I'm thinking it's probably not just us. At least we're hoping so. Well, we haven't caught any fish, but Spencer spotted this here crawdad crawling around down there. I'm zoomed in on it. If it was in closer, I'd catch that sucker. He's coming closer. I might get him. Past us, Spencer. What? What are those swimming out there? Uh, ducks. These ducks have been swimming by. That's about all we've seen. We got a couple little nibbles on our line, but nothing biting. We got two ducks, a crawdad, and two nibbles. That's all we've got so far. You gotta choose one of these things to light a fire with. We're gonna get our fire going. We were down at the lake fishing. We didn't catch anything, neither did anybody else around us. There was people next to us with a dog in the water and people yelling and it wasn't very peaceful. People turned their music on, so we decided just to come back to camp. We were getting a little bit cold. We're gonna get a fire started. Then we're gonna get some dinner going. Okay, now you can do it, buddy. Um. Let's see, let's go like this, actually. There you go. What we'll do is I'm gonna hold this. You light it, okay? Get fast. There you go. Oop. You're getting it too close, so you have to just like that, okay? And then hold your thumb down on it. There you go. There you go. Okay. So now you got to get those sticks on there. <clears throat> Just pile them on there. No one stick in it. 
take a handful and just put them on there and they'll get going. Okay, put all of them on? Yep. Just like that. That lighter cube in there, it'll keep burning. <clears throat> and wait just a couple minutes and we'll start putting the bigger stuff on. Good job. Your first time it's harder, right? Mm -hmm. It's hard to do it fast when when you're cold, right? Uh huh. All right, I'm gonna take these ones and start putting them on right here, okay? Okay. Like this, so that they can still get some. You want them to be able to get air underneath them. Can you put some on there? Just keep stacking them up there. Yep, just like that. Like that? Yep. Keep going. A bunch more. All of them. Put them all on. Okay? Just keep on doing that. Yeah, get them all on there. Why do I have to do it? Oh, could you help me? You're a good fire builder. That's good. Keep going. Get them all on there. You can put more than one on them at a time if you want. Put a whole stack of them on there. Just pick them up and throw. Them. Yep. Put a pick them up and throw them on there. Then we'll be good. rest of them on there and that thing will get going good here in just a second. Smoke's getting you. <clears throat> what do you think of that Spencer? Yeah it's good. You now you need to get a couple of those big ones on there. Which ones are you going to put on? <clears throat> mm -mm. Grab a couple and throw them on there. Two of them. Like this one? Yep that's perfect. So we had this wood from a playhouse that we tore down in our backyard and we could have went around here and gathered some up but rather than do that we decided to just bring this because we've been trying to get rid of it anyway and didn't want to haul it to the dump so this will uh, be a good use for it. How's it going? So the fire's getting going. I'm going to close this door up so we get our draft going through here. Open our vents all the way, leave the door open just a smidge. We're going to let this thing get going and then we'll come back and cook some dinner. Light right there, buddy. Thank you. All right, we're ready for our spuds in here. Oh, yeah, that's 
looking good. Wait till those are all cooked up. And we'll get our steak in there. We'll be good to go. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of pepper in here and a little bit of salt. And that should be all we need on these spuds. Those onions will give it a good flavor. We're just gonna keep cooking until they're done. All right, guys, we got these taters done. They're looking good. We're gonna get those out of the pan here. <clears throat> we're gonna get our steak in the pan. All right, so we've got us a couple of nice T-bones. Just put some Montreal steak seasoning on those bad boys. We're going to cook them up. Not too thick, so they shouldn't take too long. Right, guys, so this is what we ended up with. Uh, tasted the steak. I don't give it an A on appearance, but an A on taste. It's excellent. So, that's all that matters. So, me and Spencer are going to go sit by the fire. And we're going to enjoy our dinner. Spencer put his mystical fire powder on the fire. Now it's blue. It's pretty cool looking. What do you think of it, Spence? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so we ate dinner. We're just sitting out here chilling around the fire. It's about 10 15 at night as soon as this burns down a bit we're gonna head for bed and it's a little smoky not sure why that stuff made it so smoky it's kind of weird yeah. Sleep was good? Yeah. Yeah? And uh, did you stay warm? Yeah. You stayed warm? And how long did you sleep for? Mm. Did you wake up? Yeah, about two times. Two times? Probably most, probably like both of them were because I got really hot. You got hot? Yeah, it was a little warm in there when that wood stove got going too much. We had to crack the windows about three, four inches. I only put one log on the fire all night. Other than that, I just turned it way down and just let it roll. Stayed probably about 70 degrees in there all night. Like I say, we really didn't need the wood stove. It's warm enough out here not to need it, but we worked on it all winter and we hadn't had a chance to use it, so we decided to try it out. So anyway, we're going to get some breakfast going and uh, then we'll decide what we're going to do next. Spencer's gonna get our rocket stove going here for us. Let's see here. Set that 
that down there. Light that up. <coughs> Over to this side so they can see you, buddy. Can you do it from this side and hold my body away? This is my Shadrack V2 rocket stove. It fits in the ammo can, as you've seen. And we're gonna cook some breakfast on this this morning. We don't wanna warm up the wood stove in the tent because we're gonna have to take it out before long. We don't really wanna get a fire going because there again, we're probably gonna not be here that long. Um, so we're gonna get this going and we'll get some breakfast made. All right, so we're gonna get some breakfast going here. First off, I'm gonna cook some of this home cured bacon. Look at how thick slice that is. The texture of this stuff when you cook it is unreal. It's not like any bacon in the store. It's just, yeah. So like I say, I have a video on that if you wanna know how to do it, if you're interested in it. I'll link it in the description below. You like bacon, Spencer? Yeah. Spencer likes bacon. Okay, so we're gonna get this cooked up and then we're gonna throw our pancakes on. We're gonna get this morning started. So Spencer here, he's gonna get us some hot chocolate going this morning. He's gonna dump some water in this little kettle here and then we'll get that water heated up as soon as our bacon's done. Spencer's ready to make us some hot chocolate. He's got our water all warmed up. Let's put it in here, buddy. Here we go. Let's put the camera over. Let's put our bacon back on. Spencer said he had to have hot chocolate, so we postponed the bacon. All right, we're gonna mix it up in there because we didn't bring a cup, so we're just gonna let him drink it out of there. Let me help you out. Okay, dump that in there. You probably want both of these in there. Because one's only good for six ounces. your water in. Careful it's hot. Just dump it all in. Keep going, yep. I'll tell you when. Keep going. That should be good. Alright, set this over here and mix it up. There you go. Good clean stick. Stir it till all the lumps are out of it. Stir it up good. hot chocolate made. He's going to try it out. Let us know how it tastes. Mm 
good. Good hot chocolate? Yeah. All right, we're gonna sit back and enjoy some hot chocolate. We got your breakfast done. How is it? Good. It's a good breakfast. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down here and eat some of mine. Somebody dropped my fork in the dirt. Gotta wash that off. the best bacon. Looks like it's burned on the outside, but it's not. It's got it's got maple syrup. It was in the cure. Put maple syrup in there, and it goes dark. But it gives those edges an amazing flavor. Well, we're going to finish up our breakfast here. Then we're going to start picking up camp. Okay. We ate breakfast, now we have to clean this mess up. Well, we got cleaned up and we're ready to go. Alright, so we're just getting ready to pull out of here. We've had a good camp. Did you have a good time, Spencer? Yeah. Spencer had a good time, so did I. We're going to end the video here because we're just going to enjoy our ride home. And there's not a lot to see. So... We both had a good time. I think the important thing is get out with your kids, have some fun, and uh, show them how to do some things. So we'll see you next time. If you like this video, give us a like, a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Thumbs up? Yeah.